I'm joined here by Ruchir Tandon. Ruchir, uh, you are uh, an oncologist, a very highly qualified doctor, but yet you have some connections with chess. So, could you tell us about what do you do right now and how is chess involved in your life? Yeah, good evening. First of all, I thank you, Sagar, and your team for inviting me here. Yes, I am an oncologist by profession, but a chess lover by heart. Okay. So. Uh, what brings me to chess is, uh, this game was very close to the heart since I started playing in way back in when I was in class 5th. Mm -hmm. uh, it started as a casual game with friends, uh, those pieces used to excite me. And um, I started, lost the first game very badly, then I told my father I want to learn this. So, whatever knowledge my father could impart me, gave me a little, some basic uh, movement of pieces, some mating patterns some pawn supports and chains, this much he only knew. And uh, moreover, those books were not available at that point of time. So we need to uh, depend on our uh, relatives who were abroad just to get some books so that we can have some basic knowledge. And I belong to a small town, I'm not based in Delhi. Currently I'm based in Delhi, but originally I belong from a very small town in UP. Mm -hmm. So what those, was the name uh, of the town? That's a town is called Bulanshahar, it is around 80 kilometers from here. So, no chess training, formal chess training was not available. And uh, whatever uh, those senior players, they were more interested in beating the juniors rather than in training them. <laughs> so, in fact, I couldn't learn much. But gradually, I started picking up with those smaller books coming up. And now, though, it is everything in open. Yeah, so, now, now there is an information boom. So, you have yes. to actually select what you want what to learn. You want to learn. Yes, <laughs> definitely. I agree with that. So, uh, tell us about your work uh, because you are an oncologist, but you also do a lot of social service. Yes, we do definitely do a lot of social service. We take care of some underprivileged uh, patients who are not able to afford that costly drugs. Although the government has taken up some measures to reduce the prices, but still uh, it is far beyond the reach of uh, the common patients in uh, India, especially in this part where the head and neck uh, cancers and the lung cancers are very, very common here. And this, you can attribute it to the rising level of pollution in major cities as well as smoking habits. So these uh, patients, they uh, just cannot afford these things, especially the radiotherapy treatments are very, very costly. Mm. So we do definitely a lot of social service. We try to help them reduce their prices and uh, arrange some drugs for them. We all do that, this kind of works. Our surgeons are eminently working. They do surgeries at a cheaper rates and definitely whatever best we can do, we try to help our patients. But still, it is not enough what I feel. I have a very important question for you and this has been on my mind since many years and I guess it's on the mind of many chess players as well. Yeah. So on one hand, you are an oncologist, you are making a real difference in the society because you save lives of people who suffer from a life-threatening disease called cancer. On the other hand, a chess player, although he devotes almost all of his time to the board game of chess, he is not contributing something positive to the society. But yet, you are, you know, you, you love the game of chess and you are a very correct person to say as to what is the relevance of chess. Are we contributing positively to the society or yes, not? Definitely. See, what, what in these years, what I have realized is chess has got a power to make great friends. And once you are a friend, you have a friendly approach to a patient. Definitely it works boom to uh, boost up the morale of the patient as well as trying good recovery of the patient from these kind of toxic therapies which we administer to them. So, and, 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 and for us oncologists, uh, at least for me, it works as a stress buster when I come out to the home and I solve two, three positions. It is definitely, <laughs> I had a good night's sleep then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you know, you have such a high stress job. Uh, so, so, chess does help you to relax, yes? yes. Oh, what do you do? Like, what chess practice do you indulge in? Uh, problem solving, some opening theories, trying to build up my repertoire a little, little, and uh, some end game uh, practices. And uh, I've got some two, three friends, uh, juniors to me. I, I try to share my knowledge with them. This is the usual uh, one which I can manage at this point of time. So you don't have a rating right now, yeah. but uh, what do you think if you play a tournament? What what would be your strength around? Uh, at least I'll be around uh, 16 to 1700. Okay. Uh -huh. So you don't plan to 
try and no, test that. Although I, I, fly, I tried this time, uh, I'm trying to become a trainer now. So at least I can train those beginners and, and spread the knowledge and, uh, and the power to make friends. <laughs> So, uh, so you did attend the FIDE trainer yeah, seminar and how was your experience there? No, it was very nice, especially the lectures by um, Grandmaster Lang and uh, Grandmaster Ramesh sir. It was awesome. I, I never learned chess that way, uh, whatever I have learned in these three, day, three days here. It is entirely, it is a mind-changing concept. The all, all, every, every point was uh, crystal clear to me. So, so most of the people whom we meet play chess for uh, rating for norms for becoming a grandmaster, but you here play chess for as a passion, and you play it to make friends. Yes. Uh, do you have any ambitions, or you know? No, I want to train now. I want to train those beginners. I want to go to schools, teach children from whatever time I can make out from my daily profession. I'm looking at it as a different sort of a profession, not exactly a profession, a more of a passion following. So, so basically, you believe that chess is very powerful and you want to spread it. Definitely. That is my idea. And, and I must thank your team because, see, the platform which you all have provided is, is enormous. Especially the Hindi platform, the Chess Base India Hindi platform, what Niklesh is doing. It is, it is going up to the most basic levels and he's, he's trying to explain it, uh, what, what exactly. Because in my time, in, even at this stage, I used, never used to follow those silent moves, why this was given, what, what is the idea behind. There are so many, in a, in a particular game, there are so many moves which do not, we, we do not get an idea that why this was played. It was never in our candidate list. So anyway, definitely, you all guys are doing a great job and, and we must learn from you all. Uh, whatever um, uh, points you have mentioned in this and uh, definitely it's a very big platform plus you are making those softwares books available to us so that we can easily learn and spread the knowledge Ruchil thank you so much for your kind words uh, and we, we are so honored to have a person like you in the chess community who's such a passionate chess lover yes. and at the same time is doing such wonderful things for humanity Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you, Ruchir, for this, you. for your time. Bye -bye. Bye -bye.